你好，我的朋友们，我的名字是徐中庸。I've only been out of the language for like two months, and already I remember nothing. <laughs> God no! Ah,、uh, my teacher's gonna watch this. <laughs> Mr. Kralovic and all my Chinese classmates. I love you guys, and I'm sorry that I'm such a failure. <laughs> Everyone else had some sort of relation to language. I had to literally buy an experience for three and a half thousand dollars, and here it is. <laughs> I spent time in China about a week and a half. This was last year's spring break, and I'm only just now deciding I should probably put this on the internet because I'm lazy. <laughs> But I took like four hours of three second long like look where I am videos, and I got home like oh no, <laughs> what have I? Done. That's what this is. I apologize in advance. It's tomorrow.、Ah! <laughs> It's the day, man. We're about to drive to the bus, and then they're gonna pick us up and shuttle us to the airport. Ooh, that flight's gonna be rough. And I ain't talking about the turbulence. <laughs> Look at this, your boys in Beijing. It's so exciting.、Uh, it's 4:30 ish right now,、uh, their time,、uh, 2 a.m. our time, something like that.、Uh, in and post, bro. <laughs> it's all natural light in here. Isn't that so cool? Wow, sirs. What is that? That is the single coolest thing I've ever seen. Look at this, look at this guy. Look at this man. Stop. What is that? Hidden in post. Please let me know. We're revolving over. They have like plants in the middle. Oh, I'm goodness. Welcome to Beijing. I'm not one to count chickens, but I can get used to this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm counting my chickens right now. Oh、It's、yeah,、one. hell yeah. <laughs> okay, day one of my China experience is over. That was one hell of a long flight, and we had to chase the sun. Eleven hours went up in smoke somehow. This day has lasted now 27 hours. Took a shower, then put in the verb greatest hits, and then took a little nap. Hey everybody, it's pretty early in the morning on day two of my China adventure. It's crazy to think that within the confines of the day, I'll see and maybe even climb one of the biggest structures ever constructed. Bought these starbursts made in China back home, and then brought them right back. <laughs> We're off to the Great Wall. Ooh, oh boy! Ooh, spooky. <laughs> That's huge. Let's do a sand game without you need. Look at this. This is awesome. Yo, birdage. Let's go. Let's get it. Hey. I'll check out these steps. It's not so bad. No. You can see it getting brutal. It gets brutal. Wind, yo. Heavy wind. Heavy wind. Oh yeah, down. Down is my favorite. Ah. That was a blissful two seconds though. This is where the arrow gets. Shoot the enemy. Well, or even I. Don't get a day off of work. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm sure. To the test wall. It's a watchtower. Aiden, I'm in post. I assume you're playing Jimi Hendrix in the background of this. If not, you're fired. Okay, wait. Oh, oops. Let me see what I can do here. Yes. As <laughs> it gets, apparently. Damn. So essentially, what that means is that I'm fucking awesome compared to all of you guys. Taman Han Mandazo. Mandazo. La Taiwani. The air is pretty thin up here, but even the even the pathway at this point is starting to thin out a little bit. As high as you can get. Yo. Look at how high up we is. That's crazy. Woman's way high, do we? Look at this, bro. Check out that earth. Ain't flat. So slick. I'm kind of scared. Making our final descent. That was truly unreal, bro. I've been working on my escalator. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wall gang, wall gang, wall gang. That is maybe 10% of the distance we totally climbed. And you know what? Great. On the bed. Stuck holding the flag in the bag. This table of jade could be all yours for the price of your entire family. The most notable thing about Beijing I've noticed so far is the reforestation program. They're planting trees literally everywhere, and it's amazing. Welcome to Sui, where we have gelato, chocolate, yuck, and drink. Yuck is extra. Everyone's taking photos of the black kids on the trip. <laughs> This place has got charm. I've never seen before. It's crazy. It's a motherfucking shoot scoot. You don't see that every day. It's pretty cool. Back in Beijing. Oh yeah. Very nice. Ah yes. Truly the finer points of China. I wonder if they know. <laughs> Welcome to the nudie bar. We have spaghetti. Not a bad way to start day three. 
reading a little book. Skyline next to me. With any luck, I'll be able to brave that. Tens of thousands of steps going through Tiananmen Square, one of the most famous spots in all of China. I got, I got this. I got, oh, damn it! No. I got, uh, oh, uh, shit. Did it. What you got? In Tiananmen Square, the Temple of Heavenly Peace. I'm not really allowed to show you a whole lot of this place because I'm not allowed to have military personnel in my shop, but just so you know, there it is. This is the biggest public square on earth. It's been for centuries. A lot easier to get around to nowadays than it used to be. The Chinese National Museum. Pretty neat. There's the Forbidden City. And our boy Mao. <laughs> it's the world famous four star toilet. Would you believe it? The belly of the Forbidden City. And the stone is completely original. 600 years old. You can believe that. The thing about this place has been preserved. All these temples, the stone, the river, and the oldie motorbike. It's a f can on you, mate. Jesus Christ, man. Green hats, man. First graders. Damn. This is the big temple in the middle. No one's allowed inside. You can see the city of Beijing is just a couple of miles in the distance. Bird. Bird. Come on. Ah, oh, it's becoming self-aware. It's like Siri, but it can fly. Ask it something else. Hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> you pissed it off. It knows English. We've ratted you out. It's bilingual birds. Hey, konnichiwa. Shinju <laughs> Zenito, oh, that's the kotowa kesh tonight. Oh, it just pooped. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Oh. Hey. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. <laughs> I'm cool. Fun little marketplace. Full of all the knock cards you can imagine. <laughs> Whether or not Chinese characters can be written in different fonts. You are entirely <laughs> correct. People at this mall are hardcore, yo. Sometimes I literally took an item out of my bag and then put it in the bag with the item they were trying to sell me in order to get me to buy it. <laughs> that was rough. That was a lot of fun. Cheap, so. Yo, how much do your Yeezys cost? Real ones are like three eighties, and you got those for uh, ninety. Three gun life. You have two guns. You're dead to us. Even in Beijing, I'm still lit as fuck, yo. Day five, right? Day five? Yeah. I think so. Okay, day five. We're gonna fly to Chengdu today, and uh, based on the fact that I'm being forced to wear their shirt, I think we're going to see pandas today. Exciting. I believe that to be the world's well, famous no, cat poop isn't. coffee. All right, Beijing, I guess this is it. A couple hours time, a couple minutes time actually, we'll be on our way to Chengdu. Before the sun goes down, we'll see ourselves some pandas. Oh man, we made it. It's following me like I know where the f I'm going. <laughs> this place is a lot more colorful. I like the aesthetic a lot more. I got the size of these lads. Yep, a lot of the lakes and stuff you'll go to, and also usually you some turtles too. That's pretty cool. Some actual legit bamboo. I think... I'm beginning to like this place. I'll think about it though. Go on. Wait, are you? I think we're going the right way. You know what? It occurs to me now that people are so afraid of tourists because the only thing we know how to say for sure is Niha. Basically, surefire. <laughs> they know we're gonna understand that. It's a peacock. Does this one know Chinese too? <laughs> Look at the absolute multitude of these lads. They're everywhere. In the words of my tour guide, there are two different kinds of pandas. The eating panda and the sleeping panda. And having seen them, can verify. <laughs> Yo. He just did like the double chin hit and be like, sup. <laughs> He's such a little boy. Two of them. I wanna eat it. Okay. Hey there. They're everywhere. I guess they're lasses. Red panda. No relation. I'm gonna let this shot linger for a bit because I freaking love these things and I'm so glad that I have footage of them. <laughs> they're so cute. This one's my favorite. Oh, I like this one a lot. He's staying at the ribs. Look at this shit. <laughs> 16th floor. Being so much cooler than you are. 
authentic Chinese hot fries and no mild. This is spicy. Okay, so the footage for this part is ruined because my camera did not believe in a fixed frame rate. But essentially, I made kind of a name for myself at this hot pot place for being basically impervious to whatever they threw at me. Essentially, it's like fondue instead of chocolate. It's really spicy stuff, but I wasn't really feeling it. It's just hot as in temperature wise, hot more than hot as in spicy hot. I just got a bad piece. And so they gave me pulverized peppers and sesame oil to make it hotter. That didn't really work. I don't know, fam. Aiden's not feeling it. I think I did it wrong. <laughs> so I spent the next half an hour mixing the proportions of the ingredients around until I made the mixture super volatile. And I got to about this point. That's a dough ball. That's gonna hurt. I have a new strategy. I made a hole in it. I'm gonna fill the hole up with stuff. Okay, last try. This meatball is literally packed with crap. Nah, it is some sort of secret here. Okay, that's got it. I point you to this clip. Go. Go. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's a, that's a flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Reactions about the same, right? A little bit of finagling after that, and I got to a point that I was happy with. Ooh. All right, that was that was kind of rough. <laughs> okay, it happened. <laughs> so not the dunk on Sichuan or anything, but uh, only I could beat me. He's some sort of super freak. Yeah. I have more spice. <laughs> super freaky. All right, don't fall in meatball. We're doing the Mondo spice. Here we go, boys. Ready? Three, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. yeah. Does anybody want ah. more of the Ooh. paste? Ooh. <laughs> Any more paste? <laughs> I can't feel my mouth anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a mask like, ball, bro. The, the mask balls is happening. Yeah. Ooh, man. <laughs> my teeth are spicy. What's going on? <laughs> my teeth are spicy. Break your <laughs> Oh, I always wear red. No, Mary. Yo, watch touching your eyes. Don't touch your oh. eyes. Oh, so <laughs> and then say la. La. And then say la. 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 You know what? I spent a lot of that time whining and complaining, but I gotta say, that's one of the top five meals of my life. It's really tasty. Look at all these freaking woofers, yo. There's gotta be like at least three. Excuse me, fine lady. Can I interest you in some Siemens? Day six is underway. Today is apparently supposed to be a bunch of temples and things. Sounds kind of uneventful compared to the pandas and everything, but I'm willing to reserve judgment to see what these places look like because the last time we were in a temple, it was actually pretty beautiful, so. Welcome to the temple of Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang, two of the most influential people in the war that decided one of the most controversial territorial debates in all of China's history. Liu Bei was a general and Zhuge Liang was a tactician. This is the side of many of the famous generals, whereas this is the side of noble men. This is the garden area because it wouldn't be a Chinese temple without a garden area. Some more fish. And these are the biggest ones yet, I think. Dude, it's a motherfucking turtle. Hell yeah. I should get a pond installed in my room. This is freaking awesome. Look at this boy. That's a foot. I wonder what it tastes like. Wow. That's a lot of turtle action going on. These guys are living their hashtag best lives. You know what? This is my favorite temple so far. This place is real heckin' pretty. Look at all this. Whoa, 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 whoa too much. Yeah, that's the one. Waterfall action. Whoa. That guy is as long as my forearm. Bro! Bro! Hands down favorite spot. This place just keeps surprising me. <laughs> Leo Bay had some awesome taste. I'm really digging the guy's style. This is the ancient Jin Lee Street in Chengdu. Place you can't just miss. There were a lot of fish in the last spot, but look at this stuff. The air in this place is thick with the smell of panda. Whew. That's a big boy. Those. Hello there, friend. Welcome to the wide, narrow alleys. However, nowadays, thanks to remodelings, the narrow alleys are actually wider than the wide ones. So basically, uh, nothing's real and everything's a lie. So we want to remind you to always keep smile. If you don't, we'll fucking kill you. Be careful for tea house. I didn't even know what they were going for with this one, actually. <laughs> so I'm looking at this place. So weird looking panda. I've been chasing hatless like this in all the stores I've found for the last, like, three or four days. Finally found out from if I could afford it. Fish thing they got going on here. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Oh, it's a tiny one. Oh, hello. What's your spin game? <laughs> what this little dude go on top of the monitor? Maybe you'll see him in future video or something. I don't know. Look at his little face. Look at his... Look at... Look. 
look at his face. You see all these shops, but on top of the shops are always some apartment complexes. They're really nice and actually well-fitted kinds of stuff. It's really pretty. You, you would not believe the traffic in this place. People drive like crazily. It's actually really entertaining to watch. Welcome to the Chengdu People's Park. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, don't you? The matchmaker area. I don't want to explain it, just Google it. <laughs> Walnuts. Huh. Look at this place with neon lights, it's so pretty. We're gonna watch the face change show here. I don't know what that means. We're outside, boys. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't tell you, that's literal f***ing magic. <laughs> Check out this nonsense. I don't think science can explain this. I think it's like, look, just white mask. No more white mask. <laughs> It's like in the blink of an eye. They're not even allowed to disclose this stuff because the government will prosecute them. That is how well kept this secret I, I, is. I, I literally don't know. I don't understand, and I think it's all the better for it. <laughs> okay, yes, blue. Not blue. I, I don't understand. He didn't even touch himself. Like, it could have been a tearaway. Okay, well, if he touched himself, that'd be a whole different kind of problem. David Blaine, he saw this and was like, I don't know, fam, it's fucking magic. I don't get, look at that. You just gotta accept it. I gotta. I don't know, man. <laughs> Blue pier up there. You know, when I was watching that, like, I mean, the mask and the rover are one thing. Yeah, I, I don't get it, but there's probably a way that that is possible, given the laws of the universe and everything. But two or three moments where the actual, like, physical human being was different. Same getup, facial hair, different facial features, proportions, height, flat out different dude in the exact same pose. I do not understand. Oh, you know what? It's all the better for it. Here at the door said hotel, we firmly believe that you must stop on our 42th floor. If you end up on the 42nd floor, then God have mercy on your soul. Day, I guess, seven, I think, maybe. Today is the day we're gonna fly to Shanghai. As much as I love Chengdu, I've heard that I'm even gonna like this place more, maybe, so we'll see. Big city life, and possibly a giant ass TV tower. Exciting. See you later, Sichuan. You're the raddest place on earth. Uh, there are enough spots on this new bus, so half of our group's taking a taxi. <laughs> I see you. Look, this wasn't the most terrifying flight in my entire life. My ass was clenched for two straight hours on this thing. We had so much turbulence, I thought the plane was gonna spiral out of the sky like a plane. Okay, final locale, the trip besides home, of course, Shanghai. Excited to see what this place is gonna be like, because it's apparently very modern. I don't know what that means, because the last place is pretty modern too, but whatever. I'm seeing a lot of ramps and awnings and ceilings and things around here. It's very clear to me this place was built upwards as opposed to outwards. Okay, not a full minute from the airport and I'm already impressed. <laughs> Apple. Is that right? We have the e-phone. Just keeps going up and up and up and up and up. Here we are in one of the largest buildings in all of China. Apparently it's about 100 floors, I think, and it also looks like from all four sides. See how all four sides would be different? Oh yeah. You get over here now, you can't see the opening. So that's what this place looks like, huh? I could have sworn it was bigger, but all right. Oh, my ears. Ah. We are high up. Jeez. That is frightening. Straight up and down. Not straight up and down. <laughs> Ooh, you can even feel a little sway if you, like, bump it. Oh, that's so freaky. That's so freaky. <laughs> That is a straight drop down. Here I was thinking these things were tall. All the way up here. That one's got more floors. So uh, if my math is correct, we're up here. Interesting. Cool. Wowza. Rich. Extra. You've got to be kidding me. You got that? It looks different from every side. It's so weird. I want to go in there. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it looks like two different buildings inside of each other. And it also twists, which is cool, I guess. Nanjing Donglu. This is the eastern street of the Nanjing Lu, a very famous street here in Shanghai, and there's a lot of stuff to get. I have no time to spare. Neon light action going on. This place is fun. Did somebody say extra? Beware of glass. It's dangerous if provoked. Keep the order. Isn't that illegal in most circles? Oh. Okay, now it's time for a night cruise. The teacher says this is the one thing you can do forever and ever, never get bored of it, so we'll see what happens. Check this place out, there's so much going on. Okay, I, I could watch that for a while. That's so cool. Not seasick yet, but then again, it's only been 20 seconds. We're cruising now. Quite quickly, actually. It's silly out here. I'm 
the waterfronts so that makes sense, but whew, getting the shivers. This side of the river has a lot more uh, gold accents, very thematic. The other side of the river, on the other hand, is very colorful. Damn, this place is really pretty. Look at all the reflections on the water. Ginger. Alternatively, Smucker's Lips. Doing a 180, boys. This thing corners well, like, a, like a boat. Real thing for twinkles, and I love it. I know I keep making fun of this place for being extra, but honestly, I kind of love it. I, I completely love it, actually. This is my favorite thing. Okay, I understand now why this place is called so modern, but like, I mean, look at all of this. How did they build all of this within a period of like 30, 40 years? I didn't get sick with you, like, it's finally turning around. <laughs> this is fancy. Very nice view as well. Bunch, bunch of that. Some, uh, some of that. Bunch of this. Chocolate low print on everything. Day eight, final real sightseeing day. Pretty much just a lot of shopping in case you forgot anything and you get something for your relatives. Naked hub. Sean Time is a must hit spot around here. Yoldi Comic Sans. Oh boy. Some Dada Bills. Man, these guys have money from all over the place. All different kinds of cultures, all different kinds of coins, all different kinds of designs. Some have holes. What kind of wallet do you need to carry that? These are actual Dal Dal Bills, son. A lot of different colors. A lot more creative than our cotton money back home. I'm not gonna lie, when I walked in here, this thing scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Manjusri. Vara. The scale of this thing, like, this must have taken so long to make. Apparently this is a weapon. Uh, I've made a bronze. I guess you would just, like, tie it to a stick and then chop people's heads off with it. Wicked cool. This is the first t-shirt I've seen since I got here that, well, that I didn't think looked really dumb, so I bought it. Because <laughs> I wanted to buy a shirt when I got here, and this is the one. It's got a dragon. Pretty generic, but I like simplicity. The apple bed. I have one of those back in my penthouse that doesn't exist, Phil. This is the Shanghai Art Square. Kind of like the other one, the 798 District, except this one seems even more bizarre. It seems like this guy's shtick is kids with half of their faces obscured. Interesting. He's got fish in the floor. What do you think I said? <laughs> What's wrong with you? This time tomorrow we'll be up in the air. This time tomorrow we'll also get back home. I won't question it if you don't. Okay, quickly. Welcome to Sihuan Market. Welcome to Sihuan. No, it's... Welcome to Sihuan Market. I forgot to recording this post, I'm doing it now. I've already bought what I wanted to get though. I'll be honest, um, I bought a couple of the same thing, different flavors of it, and one of the things only came in a different size, which costed one yen more. And because of that, I just barely didn't have enough to cover it. Literally one yen short, but they gave it to me anyway. Touched a there. Spot for Mickey Mouse. Yeah. You see him everywhere. <laughs> I've been looking for a patch of something to do with China, and I finally found one. The problem is it's already stuck to a hat. Um, I'm kind of rocking the panda thing right now. We're on tour. How many times must I tell you? Welcome to Uyong Garden. This place is pictures in front of our textbooks. Oh, it's some f***ing dicks. He's feeding the fish so now they're everywhere. Look at them all. They're all coming this way. I've been on a lot of tours in my day, but sometimes they really drag on. No, this place is really beautiful though. I like it a lot. <laughs> These guys are all huge. This place is busy. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's a Saturday, but even Fridays are usually pretty bad. The space in these little shops, so they make a whole lot of density. It's actually really overwhelming to look at. My world. I mean, they're not wrong. Superman toy. Seems promising. The joke was waiting to be made, and now it's been made. Super deformed figure. I should give this place a break. My god. Petition to rename panoramic photos to pics. Day nine. Nothing's going on today except the fact that we're going home, which in and of itself is a lot in my opinion. See my family, and more importantly, my cats. I was gonna get editing this, probably, maybe. I'll think about it. We'll see. Exciting. Oh, before I forget, we saw an acrobatic show last night. My phone died before I could take any photos or document anything about it, though. It was really awesome. They had motorcycles, they had trapeze artists, they had acrobats, obviously, and they also had bikes, launchers, and, like, giant poles, and it was crazy. Really cool. Really colorful, too. Only problem was the guy next to me was clapping so loud that I actually wanted to throw up because my left ear was just so shot. Shanghai, you're pretty neat, too. Tour guide not doing any favors. <laughs> this is the last sub country I get back in Chicago, I guess. I'll see it, so I guess this is it for the video. It's been fun. <laughs>